Hey, so I had the opportunity to officiate a funeral this morning, and it was for a distant relative, um, a guy who I knew but didn't really know, you know. Uh, over the years, 60-some uh, years of being around somebody, you kind of get to know them, but you don't see them all that often, so you don't really know them all that well. But this is the one thing that I knew about this man. He loved Jesus. I'm going to, when you would talk to him, you knew exactly where he stood with God because he talked about God a lot. This was a guy who was funny. He would tease and be teased. He was competitive. He was a guy that worked hard and was dedicated to his family, his wife and kids and grandkids, his church. He was a guy that you'd start to talk to and you're like, man, there's something different about this guy. This guy oozed Jesus. He oozed love. He oozed um, religion in its purest form. You know, not that religion that you got to live up to certain standards or you're out. This religion that he had was love, Jesus, God, bring everybody in, love them into the kingdom. That's pure religion, right? And he was that guy. I was talking to his wife and she said to me, hey, you know, one time we were at uh, Joanne's Fabrics. I'm like, wow, there's a great time, right? <laughs> Woo! And she's like, we're standing there, and he could just talk to anybody. He would strike up a conversation like, hey, how are you? And they'd say, oh, yeah. oh well, that's awesome. What, what do you do? And then next thing you know, they're in this conversation. And he starts this conversation with this lady, and she starts to pour her heart out. And he stops right there in the middle of Joanne Fabrics and prayed for her. Now, if followers of Jesus were, were that loving and that kind and that caring and that in-depth and in tune with Jesus to say, you know what, let's just stop here for a second and let's just lift up this burden, this worry to God. Wow, right? What would the world be like if Jesus' followers did stuff like that? And here's one of the things I, I just want to say is he was funny as anything. And he looked at me. We saw each other this past Memorial Day. And he said to me, hey, how you doing? I said, good. How about you? He said, I'm doing good. You know, things are good. And, uh, he, and he says this to me. He goes, you know what? Out of all the relatives that I had, I wouldn't have bet that you were the one to become a pastor. I'm like, dude, you are so correct. That was so far. Those odds were astronomical. And we laughed because he's like, man, God can just do great things, can he? I'm like, yeah, absolutely, he can. He can change anybody's heart. He can work in anybody if we make ourselves available. And that's one thing that this guy always did. He was available to spread the love of Jesus, no matter where he was, no matter what time of day it was, no matter where we were. May we all have that heart to tell others about Jesus, to pray for others right there, right there in the spot that they're in. Not make them come to church, but pray for them, even in the aisle of a store. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.